Hi, thanks for tuning into TBS TV today. Today I'm gonna to show you a circuit exercise called Four Rounds. The exercise Four Rounds goes for, as it explains, four by three minute rounds with a 30 second break in between each one. We've got one minute of exercise, then a totally different exercise for the middle minute, and then we repeat the first minute of exercise for the third minute. At the, end of every, at the end of every round of three minutes, we will do a plank for 30 seconds on elbows and feet, and that is your break between exercises. I'll start by explaining the first three minute round. Okay, moving into round one. Minute one and minute three will be straight attacks on the boxing bag, using the straight jab and the straight power hand. You can use your feet, but it's all about busy and energetic for the first minute. So after the first one minute of boxing, we're going into a set of shuttle runs. The distance is whatever you want it. Whatever distance you have, it can be five meters, 10 meters, but it's 100% effort for one minute before you come back to the boxing bag and repeat the first minute again. After each three minute exercise, we do a plank hold for 30 seconds. So now we move into the second round. The next round will be all using two attacks. I use one punch of attacks, uh, one, one phase of attacks, I'll make a movement, whether it's a slip, a step back, a couple of step backs, and I'll come in for my second phase of attack. This will be round two, where I do this at the first and the third minute of this exercise. <laughs> Straight off boxing the bag for the first minute, we drop and we do rocks for the second minute. Okay, so for round three, I'll jump up from my plank and I'll start doing in close work on the bag. What this means, high hands, Elbows in, sit your base down, and work uppercuts and hooks in close. So after the first minute of in close boxing on the bag, I will immediately go to the bar and do jump overs, double leg jump overs. No double jumps at one side, just immediately rebound over the bar. If you don't have a bench seat or something higher preferably, put your, put your hands on a chair and just jump your feet as high as you can over from left to right. Okay, so my fourth round of boxing goes from the plank at the end of the third round. I will get up now and immediately box the bag for one minute. This time it's open boxing, I can put all my styles together. I can use in and out movements, I can use in close. Boxing with uppercuts and hooks, whatever it is I choose to do, but the main aim is to work hard. As soon as I finish the first minute of open boxing on the bag, I will drop down on the ground, I will do V sits. I'll make sure my feet are always off the ground and my head doesn't touch the ground. I'll do V sits for one minute before I'll go back onto the open boxing, which is the final minute of the four rounds. <laughs> And that is the final round of the four rounds. This is a general fitness circuit. Boxers can use it, competitive athletes, or general public can use it, as long as you're in pretty good shape. It's a strong, fast, equipped exercise. Make sure your basic boxing techniques are all in play though, so you know how to do all your punches. We work fast and hard on the bag, and when we do our exercise in between, it's strong, and it's hard to breathe because a lot of times you're using your core muscles which you've just tested out your endurance on the bag. This is a great way for everybody to push themselves hard and get fit. As you can see I'm sweating in here. That's, the, that's what I expect from you guys. Thanks for watching TBS TV today. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. More videos coming weekly every Monday at 10am.